Okay, everyone, I'm back. And I'm going to show you how these um, six cards go together. Here's the instructions that come with it. It's more of a picture instruction. So I'm just going to put this up where I can see it and you can't. And I have taken out three colors of ink pads that it recommends. The garden green, the real red, and some shaded spruce. And like I said in my the part one of my video, I am using the Poinsettia Petals stamp set. I'm gonna use this Merry Christmas. Thank you for making this a wonderful season. I'm gonna use these instead um, of the recommended uh, stamp set. So this works just fine. And if you have stamp sets at home that have warm wishes, Merry Christmas, um, I'm pretty sure those will work for you as well. I've also cut up some gold um, twine cording, I guess, uh, 12 inches for each tag that you want. So I'll put that aside and I've organized everything here. So I have one of each. So let's get started. So let's do the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree will be this tag, punch that little hole out. And we want this laser cut piece as well. And one of the trees. Now, what I did notice in here that it does not come with are dimensions. I'm a dimensional girl. Let me just check, make sure my kit didn't uh, come with nothing. Let's see, decorative, nope, it does not, but I would do stamp in dimensions here. Additional items needed for the Tag Buffet stamp set. Don't need it, nice to have. Garden green, real red, shaded spruce. You can use your own red and green if, if you have it and it's not quite these colors. Won't be the end of the world. Um, and uh, dimensionals right there. All right, so I will just use my own dimensionals. Good to know, good to know. So as part of your kit, I will include a sheet of dimensionals for you. That will all be part of the class that this goes with. The only thing I can't provide for you is a stamp set. So you'll have to do that on your own or uh, maybe order the poinsettia petals, poinsettia, or the tag buffet one that, uh, that matches. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's stamp. Let's do that first and get all the inky stuff out of the way. So here are all my... Where is our, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna do Merry Christmas in Garden Green. Do that twice. Oh, I haven't inked up my, I haven't used Garden Green for a long time, so hopefully it's still juicy. Stamp, 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 stamp. That looks good. All right, and this is white on both sides, so if I make a mistake, we will just turn it over. Merry Christmas. Ooh, pretty. One more time. This is new too, so I probably should have stamped it a couple times before doing this, but anyway. Very nice. Where is my scrubber? Somewhere. I'm always ill-prepared when I do these things. All right, here we go. Give that a little squirt. Bert, bert, bert. Clean, clean, clean. All right, off to the side. So I have two Merry Christmas. What else do I want? i close this. I'm gonna take the real red and let's see. Uh, oh, wouldn't you know it. All right, people, I'm just gonna pause for two seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Just big brothers calling to see if I have any stuff to donate. So, okay, where were we? So I've got my Merry Christmas. What else do I want? I'm gonna do, um, can I do the real red? And I have here, I have warm wishes. I wonder if I'm gonna put that one on this one instead. I do happy holidays on here. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I think I will. Oh yeah, real red. There was another one here, wasn't there? That says, thank you for making, let me just see. Oh, I like that one too. This is from the Poinsettia Petals. Let's see if this fits. 
that says thank you for making this a wonderful season. Okay, I'm going to do that. That, 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 that. Thank you for making this a wonderful season. And I'm going to do that in shaded spruce. I'll do two of those. So, again, this is new. You know how sometimes a brand new set sometimes can give you um, not a great impression initially. So if you put some Versamark on it and kind of get it, I don't know what to call it, a little weathered before you start. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay, now shaded sprues. Kadoki. And damp. Nice. One more time. Nice. I like talking to myself. I encourage myself all the time, don't you? <laughs> all right, the last two. Mm. Uh, warm wishes from our house to yours. I'm going to do that in real red. And then we can get to some assembly. This is also new. Give me two secs. Take out my first mark. Okay. Warm wishes. Pardon my head. If my head gets in the way, I can't tell if I'm in the center or not. Oh dear. It's a good guess. Not bad. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I have some a trick to show you. You see how when you do red, I don't know if you can see, it's stained a little bit. I always forget I have this, the stamp cleaning pad. Um, see how dirty it is? On your photopolymer, this is actually meant for photopolymer. The pinks and the reds, they stain quite a bit, right? Your photopolymer. But if you're really picky, you can just use this cleaner. If you do it right after, you can get all that pink and red out. And it looks just brand new again. Isn't that cool? Cool. Anyway, I always forget to show you guys that, so I thought I'd bring that out. Because I always forget that I have it. Okay, so let's put the ink pads away. Because my luck, see I've already got it on my fingers, and I'll spread it to my card. So let's close that. And I'm even going to take a baby wipe and wipe my fingers. Because I can see ink on them already. Oh, look at that. See, I'm very bad with this. And then I muck everything up and I get kind of mad at myself. So, wash my hands, dry them on my pants, and away we go. Okay, so let's take those out and begin. Those were the shaded spruce. These ones were garden green all right and the tree I did take the tree out where did it go I don't know I'll take another tree out you know if you save these you could sponge them mm -hmm. on a card front or just even the outline that'd be really pretty mm. so I won't throw that away got ideas to do with that and we want this one I want, uh, let me see, excuse my reach. Oh yeah, I want these two. Here and here. All right, so let's just put this guy here. And you know, I'm pretty sure he's popped up. So I'm, you could do whatever you want. I'm gonna pop him up. Put some dimensions. Kind of running out on this sheet, so I'm just gonna tear it and use all the bits and pieces. Okay, just like that. And this is one tag done already. Here we go. Well, not quite. Not quite finished. Um, nice. Just like that. Mm, warm wishes that. I'm going to use some glue to put that on there. I'm not going to pop that up. I'm just going to put a little glue on that side and plop 
that on. I'll do like that. Take my cord and I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm not sure if this is how they do it, but this is how I'm gonna do mine. I'll put it in the front. And I'm gonna pull that through. And you've got yourself, that's plenty long. That was 12 inches. You probably don't even need 12 inches. Maybe 10 inches would do. But if you wanna do a loop, actually if you wanna put a knot in here cause you wanna hang it on something, then I think the 12 inches is excellent. If you don't, and you're just really gonna tape it to a, a uh, present, then I'm gonna say you don't need 12 inches. So save yourself a couple inches per tag and you get to use it on something else. Hmm. If I can get my little fingers in there. There we go. There we go. Up, 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 up. Just like that. There's my scissors. All right. There we go. Oh, my scissors. They're getting dull. All right. Simple. Number one. I'll try to speed through the rest of these. Let's pick another one. All right, what's this one? We'll do this one. And we'll do this one. You can see how fast these go together. Um, let's pull out that. Let's make it this. And let's put it together. So, just like the last one. We'll do that, we'll put it all together. So when I do the class with you guys on the, uh, by Zoom, um, we won't spend the time finishing all our cards together. We'll start with our tags and we'll make sure that we do one of each so everybody is clear on how they all go together. But it's relatively simple as you can see. And then we'll jump into the cards and we'll make a couple cards together you will get a PDF from me that actually has a total of eight different cards that you can do um, with this tag buffet set. And, um, but we'll make a few of them together and the rest of them you can make um, at your leisure. Um, you'll get instructions, like I said, of eight, but you'll also get, um, uh, what am I gonna say? Um, and your kit will only include, um, um, cardstock to make four cards. I can't talk this morning, my goodness. And um, anyway, more information on that will be forthcoming. So let's finish this card. Not a card, tag, but they're big enough to be cards. But we are going to make some of those as well. All right, let's put this up here. How's that look? Punch my little hole. These are very large tags. I mean, you, you could write a sentiment on the back, a little note, um, something like that. They're really quite surprisingly big. Not that that's a bad thing. I actually think it's a, a good thing. Nice to decorate your gifts. I like decorating my gifts. I always buy matching gift paper for under the tree. I'm a bit weird that way. If it can match my theme on the tree, then I'll do that. I'm also a bit weird that way. All right, there's number two. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. And um, I don't know. I haven't started Christmas shopping yet. I know there's some of you real keeners out there that like to um, get it done before the season starts. I just can't really wrap my head around it. Every year I try, so maybe we'll try again this year. But usually I don't start till November and I'm not done till the week before Christmas. So that's just kind of me. All right. So here we have a uh, Merry Christmas. That is the one we did here. So let's do that. Do that. Pop this up. There's my running low on my dimensions. That's okay. I've got sheets of it somewhere my emergency stash that I always have nearby. There's that. One more. Stick it in there, pop it up. Again, you see how super easy this is. So let me finish these up. 
and I will come back to you in a second. All right, so here we are just finishing off the last card and take my last bit of ribbon. Oh, cord, why do I call it ribbon? It's not ribbon, it's gold cord. Finish this off for you. Oh, come on, get in there. Maybe that's why they made these tags really big. <laughs> so our adult fingers could handle it. Anyway, there you go. Here we got all six designs from the Tag Buffet set. Super quick, really easy, kind of fun to make when you don't really have to overthink anything and um, big enough to use as a card even actually if you want to write on the back. So that's the Tag Buffet. And in part three, I'm gonna show you the, some cards we're gonna make. And um, so stay tuned for that.